what's going on? <sighs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited for 2024 because I feel like this is the year of momentum. It's the year that I'm going to continuously do multiple things to yield a better result. Because I think that one thing that I learned in 2023 is a lot of things have to do with, I guess we can say inputs, right? Like putting things out, reaping what you sow, right? The more things you put out to the universe, the more things you get back. But if you're not putting out things, then you can't really expect things to come back to you. It's kind of like sitting in front of the water and hoping that a whole bunch of fish are gonna fill your bucket, but like you never put out the fishing rod, right? You've gotta put out the fishing rod so you can get fish. But now I'm excited to like put out a whole bunch of fishing rods, get a whole bunch of fish with friends and really just document the process of doing it at the same time. And I feel like putting out content is so important to me too, because it's almost like feeding a village. And that's what I like to say. Like every time I put out a piece of content, I could be inspiring someone to change their life and they could change their entire village's life, you know, and change all their family, their friends, generational wealth, who knows? So I think that a lot of times when we put out this content and we can be critics of ourselves and be like, why am I doing this? This is awkward, this doesn't make sense. But at the end of the day, you could change somebody's life by just reciting something that you're learning from a book and then that can make the world a better place, you know? So that's what I'm excited to do in 2024. And I just wanted to stop in here and talk about that before I start my day. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So welcome to my random YouTube channel. And I am going to basically answer a question today from my Instagram. Someone asked me a question and I was going to send a super long reply, but I didn't know like what to make a video about on YouTube, but I wanted to make a video. So I'm like, hmm, what better place to do it than right now to answer questions? So yeah, the question is, I am totally lost. And at the moment, I want to do affiliate marketing on YouTube. I really don't know where to start. I want to create a personal brand and I also want to get a mentor. And if I don't, I feel like I won't grow. What are your thoughts? And yeah, I think you're completely right on that. If you don't do these things, you won't grow. But to answer the first question of like, I'm totally lost and I don't know what to do. You've said you want to do affiliate marketing on YouTube. So you kind of know what you want to do. So I would say to study the people that are doing affiliate marketing and also, you have to ask yourself, like, really, what do you want to do affiliate marketing for? Because I feel like a lot of people just jump into things because they see some people find success with that thing. Like maybe they find success on their big YouTuber or maybe it's one friend that you know that is just making money. So I feel like for me, I've did a ton of things in my life to where I just did things for the money and it always faded, no matter how good the opportunity was. So I feel like you have to kind of know what you want and start there. So that's the first and best place to start at just figuring out what you want because if you don't know what you want then somebody else will tell you what they think you want and then you'll end up just doing things that isn't what you want in the first place so I feel like you need a piece of paper like a white piece of paper with a pen and paper or whatever like a pen and a white piece of paper and just write down everything that you want like anything that will bring you the ton of joy and if you feel blank just go to your camera roll on your phone or just like go to your the, the things that you see on Instagram that you like, and that'll tell you something about the things that you like. And when it comes to a piece of paper, let me actually get it. All right. So this is the kind of paper that I'm talking about right here. Just like a huge ass piece of paper. And I like to use a pen with blue ink. And I just write down everything that I want if money wasn't an object, right? So like literally, if you didn't have to worry about paying bills, what would you be doing? Would you be painting? A lot of people think that they would be doing nothing. They'd be chilling on the beach. They'd be just like, you know, chilling in Aspen or something, but I promise you, you won't when you actually have money because you'll get bored. And when you get bored, you want to do things. And the things you want to do is you probably want to build or create something. So for me, I like to create companies that are aligned with the things I like to do. Like I'm very interested in AI. So before I started to talk about artificial intelligence, I was already looking up artificial intelligence. I was already using it in workflows because I was wanting to do things in a very innovative way that I couldn't do without artificial intelligence so that's what led me there and also i love to travel and i like to inspire people to travel so i started a company called black kids travel which helps kids travel and i also get to travel so i form my life around those things that i like to do so i feel like you have to start and write down all the things you would do if you were just like super rich or if you were bored or whatever and you didn't need money what are the things that you'll be doing next they said that they want to build a personal brand so how you build a personal brand is you just talk to people literally 
really by me talking right now, you guys get to know me better and that builds my personal brand. And I feel like it takes like around seven minutes on average for people to get to know you a little bit online. So you need to at least spend seven minutes with people. So if you're making reels, you need to be posting them more consistently because when they see it consistently, then they feel like they get to know you more often. So you got to put things out. And I feel like the best way to do it is in the language that you're native to, because there's a big enough art uh, audience when it comes to the Spanish market or the English market or any market. You just got to get in the habit of just talking in front of the camera. And the best way to do that is to just cut on a camera, even if it's your phone, and just talk in front of it, even if you don't have the greatest mic, right? And you don't have to post it. You just can put it just for yourself and do it every day. You can call it like your daily docs, right? Your daily documents to where you have it for yourself and only you get to see it. So for me, I did that for almost a year straight. And just like, instead of me just writing in a notebook, I would just talk in front of the camera. And I did write in a notebook and I basically just read those things that I was writing in the notebook so I can remember remember it for myself. So that was a great way to build my confidence in talking in front of a camera because now I don't even notice a camera in front of me. I can just talk just like I'm talking to a person. So I feel like if you want to build a personal brand, you can just start with like five things that you're really interested in and just talk about those five things on a consistent basis and then people will gravitate towards you like some people gravitate towards me because it's ai or they just like my personality but they get to know my personality by watching my content that i post so this year in 2024 i'm just super excited to put out more content so you guys can get to know me and on a deeper level and you know i think a great thing about putting out content when it comes to just like your personal brand is you get to do a lot of trial and error like from here this video right here, I'm going to play it back from, I don't know, six months from now and do a comparison. And I bet I'm going to be way more confident. I bet I'm going to be um, I'm going to have an agenda and know exactly what I'll be talking to in a structure for you guys to follow and get used to. So I think that over time, you'll just get better and better. You know, even if you don't play a sport like let's just say basketball, if you shoot 100 jump shots, you'll probably make one, even if you're a person that doesn't play basketball at all. And I think that that's how I look at content too. If you put out a hundred pieces of content, one will be a really good masterpiece that probably will blow up and get and attract those people that are looking for what you're trying to put out there. And the last thing that she said is she needs a mentor. Like for me, I created a community called Circle where people can get inside and talk to me and have not just me as a mentor, but other people that are doing other like-minded things. So you have a community. So if that's something you want to join, if it's artificial intelligence, if you want to build your business with artificial intelligence, that's a great community to be a part. But I think that the best mentor is to find someone that has exactly what you want and has a lifestyle that you want. And and they've been where you're you're at right so let's just say if you came from nothing and you want to be a makeup artist i will listen to someone that came from nothing that is a successful makeup artist and that has also had some type of similar path to you if that's makeup that you want to do or whatever it is that you want to do you just got to look at someone that has been where you are and also is where you want to be it's super easy to do you just have to reach out to them or just follow them on social media and just watch their stuff every single day and you have to eliminate the distractions so a lot of times for me i like to be on social media and if someone's not adding value to my life i just delete them off of social media or i just mute them if i know them right because every day when you wake up you are getting attacked by the big corporations they put all this shit in front of you to take your attention so the best thing to do to win your attention back is just eliminate the distractions so take Take away all those things that they're putting in front of you and all those quick videos that you think you should make or listening to all these gurus that tell you what you should be. At the end of the day, I feel like we're doing these things to save time and optimize our life. For, for me, one of my mentors, his name is Rob Deerdeck. And the thing I like about Rob Deerdeck is he's all about human optimization. He's all about working 20% of his day and then enjoying 80% of his day, like not just living his life on the screen. So when he does it, he does it intentionally like he cuts on the camera he records and then people edit those videos up and post it on social media for him that's how i want to live i don't want to live a life where i'm just always on my phone worried about trying to make a thousand dollars in my life right and i feel like a lot of people don't want that we want to be able to enjoy our life we don't really want to live our life behind the screen so Find those people that align with the values that you have. And only you know those values that you have. And there's no formula for 
literally everyone for example i have this thing right here called a whoop band on and it's like this thing I, that i wear on my wrist and it monitors everything that's going on in my life like it monitors how i'm sleeping it monitors how my heartbeat is and it monitors things like that right and it's like the most precise at doing those things is better than an apple watch and the reason i tell you that is because when you have a whoop band and your information or your whoop band is going to be completely different than mine because everybody's body is different and everybody has a different formula so the information that it provides you with will be tailored to you and I feel like when it comes to success it's the same way the information that is provided to me or the path that I've done it is going to be unique to me and everyone can do it it's not a matter of like trying to do this cookie cutter the same thing that everybody else does you have to do what's tailored towards you because if you try to do exactly what I did it probably won't be for you like I don't think that you may be a super duper tech nerd like I am or you may not be super into i don't know like viking history or all the weird things that comes with my formula right but people will fall in love with me and that builds my personal brand because of who i am and i share with other people so for you you have to share your journey and also find people that are doing what you want to do to find that genetic makeup or that formula for you and i feel like that's all business is right it's just you getting alone with yourself and finding out really what you want to do and sticking to that formula or sticking to that plan to get you there and i tell people all the time like it's, it's just like being on a plane if you take off in the air on an airplane right and you fly around the air and you don't know where you're going to land you're just going to end up in the ocean somewhere you're going to end up crashed but you have to have a plan to get you somewhere so the starting point is important of course but you have to start at the end you have to plan where you want to go and then work your way back from there so let's just say if you want to fly to jamaica you say i'm going to jamaica and after that you can find out how far jamaica is from where you live and then after that find out what's going to take you there if it's going to be a plane then you find out how much fuel you need to get you to jamaica find out exactly the coordinates to get you there or whatever right and it's the same thing when it comes to your business you just start at what exactly you want but that that has to do with what you truly want no one else can tell you what you want and like i said i like to use a white paper with blue ink another thing i like to do is use pinterest pinterest is so dope because you can just go ahead and sit on there for hours and just look at cool things that that peak your attention and then you go ahead and save it to your board and then after you go back and look at your board you'll see all the things that you're interested in and then from that can tell you that maybe you want to be a fashion designer maybe you you love crypto maybe you love of, I don't know, animals or whatever it is, you can go into those fields. So yeah, that's all the preaching I have for you today. I'm about to enjoy the rest of this day and I might vlog some of it and put it at the end of this video. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but this AI tool is actually pretty lit. Like bruh, the things that people are creating with this one is insane. It's called Pika Labs. It basically lets anyone turn their idea into a video. All you have to do is type what you want to see in a video and what format you want to see it in. And then it'll start creating. Tools like this get me excited about the future of AI. Like just imagine when we'll start creating complete videos out of tools like this. It'll be like Netflix tailored to you. So Chloe made us the full vitamins. We got everything in here and even the juice. Now we're about to watch our show. It is, what show is this? Barbarian. Barbarians, yeah, we love Vikings and barbarian history and shit like that, so. Yup, work break. So I had to get another one because I've got two mics over here, one for like podcasts and one for my like Instagram videos, but I need one by my desk, right? So, let's go. You know, all I really needed was just this piece right here. Like, yeah, this thing right here, because I can just move this from there to over here. Because this one's a piece of trash. Wow, and I thought the day was over, but I got two more packages. I got a new tripod, so I don't have to move that tripod because we've got other tripods in the house, not like that one. It's another one in the living room, but I need a fourth tripod, and I don't even know what this is. Let's see. Crazy. Okay, let's see if there's more packages. Hopefully there's another package. Don't even know what I ordered. Thor. 
sword. Got my hammer. Are you happy? <laughs> Get a feel of what it feels like to have all this power on your on your chest, you know? I put it on. See the difference now in my voice and everything? Alright, so I got the new chair. This is going to replace that one right here. Bang. Boom.